मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्सलेंस पॉइंट क्लासेस इन दिस क्लास वी विल सी क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज नंबर थ्री पॉइंट वन अंडरस्टैंडिंग कॉर्डिलेटर फॉर क्लास एथ तो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट स्टूडेंट्स इन द गिविन क्वेश्चन वी आर हैविंग अ कॉर्डिलेटरल इन विच थ्री ऑफ द एंगल्स आर गिवेन एंड वन एक्स इज देयर विच वी हैव टू फाइंड सो वी नो दैट बाय द एंगल सम प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ कॉर्डिलेटरल दैट द सम ऑफ एंगल्स शुड बी इक्वल टू 360 डिग्री सो वी विल राइट बाय बाय एंगल सम प्रॉपर्टी एंगल सम प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ कॉर्डिलेटरल सो फिफ्टी डिग्री प्लस वन थर्टी डिग्री प्लस वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री प्लस एक्स शुड बी इक्वल टू थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री नाउ एट द फॉलोइंग सो वी विल गेट फिफ्टी प्लस टू फिफ्टी प्लस एक्स इज इक्वल टू 360 degree here 50 plus 250 will be 300 so 300 plus x should be equal to 360 degrees now x will be equal to 360 minus 300 so x should be equal to 60 degree so the final value for x will be equal to 60 degree students in question number b you will see here that this 90 degree is outside of this quadrilateral x 60 degree and 70 degree is given in the question which we have to solve we have to find the value of x now see here we will name it p q r s t and u p q r s t and u now you will see here that this angle we have to find let this angle equal to y let this angle equal to y so now angle p q r plus angle r q t r q t is equal to 180 degree why it is equal to 180 degree because of linear pair so we will write linear pair now see here we will put the value over here 90 degree plus y should be equal to 180 degree so y should be equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree so the value of y is 90 degree but dear students we have to only find the value of x so now we will see that all the angles are here how how it is here you will see here that this y is equal to what this y is equal to 90 degree so now we will find that x plus 70 plus 60 plus y should be equal to 360 degree should be equal to 360 degree why it should be equal to 360 degree because of the angle sum property of quadrilateral so we will write here angle sum property angle sum property of quadrilateral angle sum property of quadrilateral so x plus 70 plus 60 plus y is equal to 90 which will be equal to 360 degree now add the following x plus 70 plus 60 70 plus 60 will be equal to 130 degree now 130 degree plus 90 degree will be equal to 220 degree is equal to 360 degree x will be equal to 360 Minus 220 degrees. So x will be equal to 360 minus 220 will be equal to 140 degree. Will be equal to how much? 140 degree. I hope so. The question is clear to you. Now we will start with question number C. 
स्टूडेंट्स इन सी क्वेश्चन वी आर हैविंग वन पेंटागन ओवर हेयर वी हैव टू फर्स्ट नेम द वर्टाइस ए बी सी डी एंड ई एंड द आउटर एंड वी विल नेम एज पी एंड क्यू नाउ वी कैन ओनली फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वेन वील हैव दीज इंटीरियर एंगल्स दीज इंटीरियर एंगल्स नाउ द नेम ऑफ द इंटीरियर एंगल विल बी बी ए and d e a we have to find these two angles now see what i will do angle p a b plus angle b a e angle b a e should be equal to 180 degree because of linear pair because of linear pair so angle p a b is given to us 70 plus angle b a e is equal to 180 degree angle b a e should be equal to 180 minus 70 that is equal to 110 degree we are having 110 degree similarly angle q e d q e d plus angle d e a angle d e a should be equal to 180 degree again same reason linear pair linear pair now q e d is given to us which is equal to 60 degree plus angle d e a is equal to 180 degree hence angle d e a is equal to 180 minus 60 degree 180 minus 60 degree will be equal to 120 degree is equal to how much 120 degree now you will see a pentagon is there the angle sum property of pentagon is how many degree it is of 540 degrees so 30 plus x plus angle b a e so angle b a e is equal to how much 110 degree so we will write 110 plus angle d e a is equal to how much 120 degree so we will write 120 degree plus x is equal to 540 is equal to 540 why it is 540 angle sum property of pentagon so we will write by by angle sum property property of pentagon similarly 30 plus 110 30 plus 110 will be 140 140 plus 120 will be equal to 260 plus x plus x will be equal to 2x is equal to how much 540 is equal to 540 now just change the side of this 260 it will be equal to 2x is equal to 540 minus 260 540 minus 260 will be equal to how much see 540 minus 260 so we will subtract 540 minus 260 it will be 0 and it will be how much 4 and 14 how much it will get we will get 8 and 2 so it will be 280 so 280 degrees x will be equal to 280 divided by 2 will be equal to 140 degrees so x will be equal to 140 degree i hope so the question is clear and move towards the question number d see students in question number d we are having a regular pentagon a regular pentagon is having all the angles equal so we can mark all the angle as x so x plus x x here here also x and here also will be x so by by angle sum property by angle sum property 
ऑफ पेंटागन बाय एंगल सम प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ पेंटागन वी कैन से दैट द सम ऑफ ऑल द एंगल शुड बी इक्वल टू 540 डिग्री सो x प्लस एक्स प्लस एक्स प्लस एक्स प्लस एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू हाउ मच 540 डिग्री सो इट विल बी 5x एक्स इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच 540 degrees so it is in multiply so when we will change the side it will become divide so x will be equal to 540 divided by 5 so x will be equal to 5 ones of 5 then we will put 0 40 it will be 8 sir so x will be equal to 108 degree i hope so the question is clear and it will be very easy now we will proceed towards question number 7 students in question number 7 we have to find the value of x plus y plus z with the given diagram now see how we will find first of all we have to find the value of this z and this x how we will find by apply the property of linear pair so see students z plus 30 degree should be equal to 180 degree we can say that by linear pair by linear pair it should be equal to 180 degree now z will be equal to 180 minus 30 degree z will be equal to how much it will be equal to 150 degree which will be equation number 1 now see here similarly x plus 90 degree should be equal to how much 180 degree also by linear pair so we will write linear pair now x will be equal to 180 minus 90 so x will be equal to also 90 degree it will be equation number 2 now for finding the value of y we must find the value of the interior angle so let the interior angle be equal to w now see here the main part of the question is that 90 plus 30 plus w is equal to what so we can see that it is a shape of triangle so the angle sum property of triangle says that the sum of all the angles inside should be equal to 180 degree so 90 plus 30 plus w should be equal to 180 degree by angle sum property angle sum property of triangle angle sum property of triangle now 90 plus 30 will be equal to 120 plus w is equal to 180 degree so w is equal to 180 minus 120 so w is equal to what 60 degree now w plus y is equal to 180 degree again by linear pair by linear pair so w is equal to 60 degree plus y will be equal to 180 degree so y is equal to 180 minus 60 will be equal to 120 degree it will be equation number third now just add the values of equation 1 2 and 3 so add equation 1 2 and 3 so x plus y plus z should be equal to 150 plus 90 plus 120 so 150 plus 90 will be equal to 240 and 240 plus 120 will be equal to 360 degree so the final answer will always be equal to 360 degree a final answer should be always equal to 360 degree which is equal to the sum of exterior angle so let's get started with the other question students with the help of same method we have to do this question now you will see we can easily find the value of this x y and z with the help of linear pair so let's get started with it first x plus 120 should be equal to 180 degree we will write linear pair linear pair now 
x will be equal to 180 minus 120 will be equal to 60 degree which will be our first equation it will be our first equation now similarly for y y plus 80 degree will be equal to 180 degree again linear pair now y will be equal to 180 minus 80 degree will be equal to 100 degree which will be our second equation it will be our second equation now for z z plus 60 degree will be equal to 180 degree reason same linear pair linear pair now z will be equal to 180 minus 60 degree will be equal to 120 degree it will be third equation for us now see students it's a quadrilateral so the angle sum property of quadrilateral should be equal to how much it should be equal to 360 degree so let us mark as angle p so p plus 120 plus 80 plus 60 will be equal to 360 degree so we will write p plus 120 plus 80 plus 60 should be equal to 360 degree we will write angle sum property of quadrilateral angle sum property of quadrilateral so p plus 120 plus 80 will be 200 plus 60 will be 260 is equal to how much 360 so p will be equal to 360 minus 260 should be equal to 100 now what we have to do p plus w so p plus w will be equal to 180 degree by linear pair by linear pair p is equal to 100 degree so 100 plus w will be equal to 180 degree w is equal to 180 minus 100 it should be equal to 80 degree and our fourth equation now we will add all the equations 1 2 3 and 4 so x plus y plus z plus w x is equal to how much 60 degree 60 plus 100 plus again how much see we are having 120 and we are having 80 so 60 plus 100 60 plus 100 will be 160 and here we are having 200 so it will be equal to 360 degree it will be equal to 360 degree so we will get the formula for 360 degree for the exterior angle always we will get 360 degree if we have to find the sum of exterior angles dear students if you like the class then do subscribe press the bell icon like button and share it as possible okay thank you and have a nice day